we are pouring the concrete grout for the exterior machinery walls. CMU concrete machinery units. Yeah, we are pouring the grout here for that building in my project. We use the, the vibrator and we use the two inches we use the two inches line pump. You can see we use the vibrator, make sure all the concrete line and we use the two inches and we are here. Yeah. You can see we have rebars, we have control joints and make sure the concrete from the sills we can see okay here we have control joint with the rubber and rebar each side we are using the two inches line concrete pump with the with the vibrator make sure the concrete pull all the sills and here you can see we have the concrete track mixer with the two inches line pump yeah to fill the grout and that will take all the day yeah make sure everything is done well and you can see you can see the concrete fill the cells here and also here in the corner in the corner we install three three bars number five size 5 by 8 one each corner and one both side also again for control joint we use the rubber for joint and one rebar number 5 each side and we are here today to fill the concrete grout for the CMU wall concrete machinery unit again our doors should be our doors and in the wall the vertical enforcement rebars should be less than four feet so you can see all those doubles less than four feet with a good overlap the overlap for for rebar number five five by eight should be minimum 22 inches and here you can see i have more than 22 inches in my project in the building and you can see the concrete track mixer and also for each for each door opening if the do if the opening here you can see the opening here is 12 feet we should install two rebars number five at each side so you can see here i have two vertical rebars number five it's five by eight and here in that end also i have two two rebars but if I have if I have window opening also I should install one rebar each side because the window opening less than seven feet. Any any opening less than seven feet we can we should install vertical rebars. At each side also you can see here the exterior wall here we have flashing that flashing it is 0.06 millimeter thickness and it is flashing using for exterior wall and also here we have support for the for the exterior bricks and we will install two inches rigid insulation with airspace now we'll go inside Today we pour the grout, the concrete grout for the CMU wall, concrete machinery units. You can see, you can see we're using the vibrator. Make sure the concrete grout pull, pull all the sills, and you can see that the vibrator. Make sure we shake the rebars. We shake it well using the vibrator. Make sure the concrete grout pull all the sills and you can see now we pour uh, close to the control joints yeah today we're using the two inches line
concrete pump to cool the grout using the vibrator. And we keep moving, we just finished the garage area there and we started from the, that corner coming this way and make sure everything will be done in the, in the good way. You can see, yeah, pouring the grout and using vibrator and make sure everything will be good. Pulling on the seals with the concrete. And you can see the concrete track mixer over there. And we started to pour the grout after we did the slump test. Make sure everything is done and pass the concrete test. And we'll keep moving. Pour pour the grout using the vibrator, shaking the rebars, the vertical enforcement rebars, and also, also after we're done, we, we cover it with the plastic. Yeah, you can see, we use the rebars in the corners of the building, and each side of, each side of the extension joint here we have a rub. We have a rebar, we have a rubber, we have another rebar. Here we have window opening. The opening is less than seven feet, so we use one rebar number five at each side. And here you can see also using the vibrator. Keep continuous. And here also you have door window opening. We use the vertical rebar because it is less than seven feet. That's another window. And here we have control joint. Also, you can see the rubber for joint. Rebars number five. Rebar number. Rebars number five for the control joint. Here we have door opening. It is more than seven feet. So we installed two rebars at, at each end. You can see that is the left end. That is the right end. We installed two rebars. Okay because the door opening is more than seven feet yeah and also where is the control joint we install rebar each side door opening and